What started here last Wednesday at this smoker's outlet on North Chadburn ended here at this home on West 20th Street, just a little more than a block away from the outlet. That day, they said that my brothers had did the robbery down the street. It was like at 4 o'clock when this had happened. Arrest affidavits reveal that the brothers Jorge and Abel Ariola allegedly robbed the smoker's outlet of a 30 pack of Budweiser that afternoon before making a dash for the home on West 20th Street. Evidently, they were trying to throw something inside and they keep throwing it back out. There was a fire in the front yard. Many from the neighborhood, along with thousands watching on Facebook, witnessed a heavy police presence surrounding this quiet neighborhood. That day, they had all the SWAT, the SWAT team here at the house with guns and everything. I thought just, I, I was just like, man, why all this for just, to, you know, just because uh, I only grabbed the beer and I just only left the store without paying for it. PD would not only continue to keep its line of communication open with the brothers, but according to Martinez, embark on a new tactic. They did speak to Abel on the phone and they told Abel if, if he come out with his hands, him and George, nothing was going to happen. And then they started throwing stuff inside the house. They did a lot of damages. They broke our windows. They broke all our doors. My mom had to replace everything. It came out of her pocket. The gas, the gas, the gas, the gas is coming yeah, out. The gas right is coming out. Hours into the standoff, one Facebook live stream claimed a form of gas could be seen in front of the home, something Cindy Martinez says her brothers felt. They were throwing it inside the house and that's what was causing my brothers and the girlfriend and and them, their eyes were hurting, they couldn't breathe. It started getting real ugly because they started throwing more stuff inside the house and they just kept throwing it back outside. After a five hour standoff, the Areola brothers along with an 18 year old female were removed from the home. According to the Tom Green County Jail, 21 year old Avilardo Areola was charged with robbery aggravated robbery and possession of a controlled substance less than one gram with a bond set for $250,000. While 32-year-old Jorge Areola was charged with robbery, aggravated robbery and miscellaneous fugitive from justice with a $150,000 bond. Does anybody have any questions? Following the arrest, the San Angelo Police Department addressed what everyone on the street was talking about the flames outside the home. Did they set the house on fire? So there was a, a time during the standoff where the subjects had put items outside the residence and it, and it started them on fire, okay? It was a concern of our SWAT team and the rest of the officers on scene that we did not ignite the actual exterior portion of the residence. We wanted to stop that from happening. So our SWAT team did advance at one point and extinguish the fire. But as far as the use of gas was concerned, the police department released this statement later that night. Although the use of chemical munitions was considered, no gas was deployed at the scene. Meanwhile, we had a chance to chat with both brothers via an internet visit, and according to both, they felt the effects of something used to assist in their removal from the home. Tell me a little about like what what that impact was like, or what how that was making you feel at that time. I don't know they let me like move my arms or nothing like that. Did you feel any like irritation to your eyes or anything like that? To my eyes, yeah. Can you tell me anything else like how, how that chemical was making you feel or anything like that? I don't know, dizzy. Like I couldn't breathe. So as far as everything that was concerned, man, you said vision as far as everything that was concerned, and short, shortness of breath. Vision. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Yeah, and that, those are the only two. But according to the San Angelo Police Department, they're sticking with the original statement. Although the use of chemical munitions was considered, no gas was deployed at the scene. In a recent sit-down with Assistant Police Chief Tracy Fincher, who was also on the scene that night, explained why it would have been evident if gas was used. According to Fincher, much more of the neighborhood would have had to have been cleared out, especially in the direction of the down winds, which that night were moving towards Chadburn, but no additional evacuation was requested. The home itself would have been inhabitable due to the residue of the gas. A heavy cleanup would have been necessary before living in the home could resume. Meanwhile, the family 
was back in the home immediately. And according to Fincher, the most important indicators to why gas was not used that night, not one member of the San Angelo Police Department, as you can see in this video entering the home, could be seen wearing a gas mask, which is mandatory if gas is deployed on the scene. So with the Areola brothers still behind bars, their family, on the other hand, is still grappling with what happened. My mom's going through a lot right now, and she doesn't even feel secure at her home anymore. She just wants to move because we don't feel safe here anymore. After what happened, when all the SWAT team was here, that scared of it. It scared all of us. This is just going to be a, a horrible memory we have to live with. For San Angelo Live, I'm Manny Diaz.